So what was it that Ferabov taught? Ferabov likened the subtalar joint to that of a boat on the surface of water. So this is a boat. So on the surface of water, a boat moves forward. Does it move straight like that? Like a speedboat? No, I'm not talking about a speedboat. I'm talking about a simple boat on the surface of water. This boat moves forward and that is moving forward. It goes up and down, up and down. Right. So the sailor would say it pitches up and down. That's the pitching movement. Okay. It doesn't do only that. It is also rolling from side to side. Yeah. Rolls from side to side. With the waves. With the waves. Okay. Is that the only movement that it does? No. no. It is also yawing side to side because wave strikes the strikes the boat. So it is pitching from front to back. It is yawing from side to side. It is rolling from side to side. So all three movements are happening. But are these movements happening one at a time? No. It is happening simultaneously. So while the boat is moving forward, it is pitching and it is yawing and it is rolling all combined in a three-dimensional space of water. Right. That is what Ferabov described it. Now that concept to draw to that of the foot is a little difficult. So, therefore, this model then becomes very important. So, can I ask you one thing here, yeah. sir? The navicular is called as the scaphoid of the foot. Yes. And they resemble the boat. Yes. That's but an easy way to remember, right? That's an easy way to remember, but uh, the that's an anatomical description of shape. Right. Nothing the, beyond that. Yeah, but this is kind of... It kinematics. doesn't tell you the yeah. kinematics. Right. Even this... When I read it first, even I never understood it. Mm, but now they will, the way you tell it. It is only when you now bring this movement on to the model, then you can understand it. Right. Let's look at it. So here is this model of a foot. 